Okay, I've gone ahead and opened up SOLIDWORKS 2014. It's the student version I've loaded on my personal laptop. This will work just fine for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and I'll select on this and I've already gone and brought it up into instead of novice which is this, I've gone into advanced. I've already got some presets set normally like I've got one here that shows University of Houston's logo. I've got another one over here that shows it kind of being white. I'll kind of give you a preview of what things look like. So I've got a plat custom and I've got a part. Part shows to gray. Well, let's go ahead and go with the basic one. So that opens up. Well, I really don't like the basic one. I don't like the background color. So I'm going to change that to plain white. Okay. Now I've gone ahead and customized my heads up display by adding a lot of commands here. But let's go ahead and get moving about getting that part imported. So I'm going to select the front plane here. When I click on it, I want it in the front plane so that way it rotates around the Y axis. So I'll select on the front plane here, click it again, and this pop-up command, oops, do that one more time, pop-up command comes up, menu, and I want to select normal two, which means normal two means I'm actually flat on the front plane surface. Kind of an imaginary shape out there, but it's, it's a surface none the same. So now I'll go to insert, I'll go to DXF DWG, and I'll go ahead and select my Texas Artwork DWG file, and I'll open it up. And because we use R13, we don't have to go through all these machinations of settings and all that. We're just going to hit finish. And it's going to go ahead and import that file directly into SOLIDWORKS. I'll hit the F key, which is zoom to extents. In other words, extents of what I'm looking at or the graphics I have on the screen. And there's my artwork, just like I saw it in Illustrator. So at this time, with the sketch still selected here, I'm going to come up to Features and go to Extruded Boss Base. Now, it's going to go ahead and rotate the object into my trimetric view. I'm going to go ahead and set that instead of a tenth of an inch to two inches. Hit my tab key, and it'll give me a preview of what it's going to actually look like. Well, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that and check that off. And now it's gone out and it shows this. And see all these little blue lines right here? That means I need to rebuild my document. But also notice all these, these outlines here, these black outlines. That's because I've got outline shaded view set with edges. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, shaded without edges and it shows me that. Well, to get rid of the blue lines, I need to rebuild my document. Each time I do some major function in SOLIDWORKS, it's best to always rebuild your geometry to make sure it's clean. We just did something pretty major there. We imported a file and we extruded it. So I'll go up here and I'll click on uh, rebuild or I could do a control B. Rebuild is that little street sign there, or street light that you see. So we'll click on that and it rebuilds my file. Well, if I come over here and look at material, I don't have a material selected. So what I'm going to do at this time, do a right mouse click and say edit materials. Well, I've got some defaults here. I don't really use any of those. I'm going to go ahead and just hit edit material anyway. Now it always defaults and brings up steel. So I'll, I'll subtract steel, close it down, come down here to wood because I use wood a lot. And I'll select pine because pine is probably where I'll mill a part like this out. And later I can check the mass properties based on a two inch two inch extruded boss base part that I was to create. So I hit apply and then hit close and now it's like a piece of milled out pine. Well I want to paint this red. I don't want to have it this color. So I'm going to come up here to my two little sergeant stripes or actually corporal stripes here in my feature manager and I click on it and it has a fly out menu. Then you can see some options here. Well in this case what I'm going to do it shows me that I've already selected polished pine. Well I'm going to go ahead and change that appearance of that polished pine by painting it. So what I'm going to do now is notice how the color is not set here. I'm going to click on color. I'll come down here and select red and it changes the color of my part to red. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And there we go. I have, I can go ahead and collapse this now. And there I have my Texas uh, artwork that I created in Illustrator. And now you can see it in 3D. It looks really cool. I like that. And I really now want to animate that as opposed to just moving around with my mouse. So we're going to come back to this in a moment. Let's just, before we do that, let's kind of summarize what we just did. We brought our artwork into Illustrator, excuse me, from Illustrator into SOLIDWORKS. We went ahead and extruded it to two inches. Then we set a material of pine, and then we came back and painted that pine. Now, if I wanted to, I could get the mass properties of what that part's going to be and tell me the weight. So we'll stop for now and come back to this in a moment.